you know, when we talk about toxicity and we do a lot of uh, great testing and to look at what's called the total toxic burden, we're not just looking at the accumulation of all these toxins. We're looking at your body's genetic ability to actually detoxify. You know, somebody that can smoke a pack of camels and drink Bud Heavies and live to 102 That's and, right. you know, somebody else in their That's 40s never smoked. It's not just total toxic burden isn't just what is going in your bucket or your body. Mm -hmm. It's your body's ability to identify it and get it the heck out. And we're, we're, we're genetically losing that ability. And also, I think, again, you know, when we're doing these studies on what is a safe toxic level, I, I remember we were in IHS, the conference, and we were, I was listening to this pediatrician speak. And she had two bodies of these little children and the dots represented a toxin, right? And a toxin, each individual toxin by itself didn't look that alarming. But if you took every single toxin, even if even if it was a, it's infant amount, you know, the, the picture looks like they have the measles or the chicken pox with the amount that it's filling up their body with. So it's it's blending these things together that that's also that we're seeing. And all these triggers are leading to a lot of these autoimmunity and a lot of mm -hmm. these chronic conditions that we're seeing today. Right. So I think, I just don't think that we're in a world now where we can take one medication or one supplement and throw it at a person and say, this is going to solve your problem.